Hey guys, how's it going? So, this video, we are going to be talking about Afria and how Afria could potentially merge with Canopy. Or rather, Canopy wants to buy out Afria. And I'm going to give you my two cents on this. So right now, as, ma as of making this video, Afria stock has gone up 14%. And after hours, another seven cents. This is the first day of trading. It's over. I'm expecting. I'm expecting. But by the time you're watching this video, I'm expecting Afria stock to be around six U.S. dollars because it has momentum on its side. And I'm expect as long as the market stays fairly green or not really dipped too much. I think Afria stock will sit at six dollars US by the time you are watching this video. Could be wrong, pure speculation on my part, but ultimately we will see what will happen. But there is a rumor that Afria is in talks with Canopy to merge, according to Betting Bruiser. Uh, the deal between Afria CGC was for eight dollars a share for Afria. Nothing was finalized though. And from my experience, when the deal leaks, one party already walked away. That means Afria said no. Essentially, they say no. They 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 basically walked away from the deal, and uh, Afria stock. Uh, you know, I think Afria is worth more than eight dollars. Like, if you think long term, if you think long term, I think Afria is worth more than eight dollars. Uh, simply because, um, they are set up to be a global company once Europe goes legal and they are able to ship product from Canada to Europe and also build. They also have some facilities built in. They have a facility built in Germany. And they're probably gonna, you know, build more facilities throughout Europe. So Afria is set up very well for global legalization, except for the United States. That's a little. They don't have any uh, attachments to the United States. They did with Liberal Health Science, but they had to sell that off. So they could always go back and buy out Liberal Liberal Health Science in the future. But for now. I think that Afria is probably just going to focus on Europe and Canada. But, uh, I and I honestly believe that they're worth a lot more if you think long term and if you think that legalization will happen worldwide. And there was also the rumor with Aurora and Afria. Uh, it didn't go through. Roseanne, a top ranked law firm, announces filing of security action lawsuit against Aurora encouraging investors with loss of excess of a hundred K. So the lawsuits are coming for Aurora. It sucks, but you know, that's what happens when stock price goes down. People lose money and lawyers come out and they be like, you know what, we're gonna help the people to recover some of the money. Because people, you know, but at the end of the day, like, Let's be honest, investing into any kind of business is risky and things bad things can happen. And you know, when bad things happen, lawyers come out. And that's just, I guess, the bad part of being a publicly traded company. You can get sued with class action lawsuits because people have lost a lot of money uh, and potentially could lose more money. So these class action lawsuits are probably not good for Aurora overall because they have to, you know, pay for the lawyers to fix everything. Unless the unless the stock price recovers, and then the lawsuit might might go away. But for now, it's here to stay because a lot of people lost a lot of money in Aurora. So because people wanted to believe long term and then cut their losses. Unfortunately, that's just the reality of it. Sometimes business don't go the way you want. But anyways, uh, this is a good thing with Aurora and Afria, uh, like in talks. That means that the big shareholders, big money, people who have a lot of shares in this company, uh, in Afria stock, they are they are probably talking amongst themselves. Like for example, Ryan Cohan with GameStop. 
Uh, let me just pull up GameStop here. So Ryan Cohan invested in GameStop and on top of that, he is also making an attempt to help the company change its business model to be more of an Amazon style. It's a similar with Afria and Aurora. There's shareholders in Afria and Aurora that are talking to the, the, to the management, figuring a way to recover the stock price because that's ultimately at the end of the day, all companies care about their stock price or they should care about their stock price. They should care about the company. They should care about the overall sediment of the company. And right now Aurora has extremely negative sediment. Why? Because the old management overspent and uh, completely underperformed which caused the stock price to collapse. But this is the stock market we're talking about. If Aurora can show investors that, hey, we are doing better, we are recovering, we're profitable, and the stock price recovers, uh, then, you know, this could be a, the biggest turnaround story of all time. But it's, it's a tough thing to do. And I'm kind of getting sidetracked a little bit, but... Yeah, so Aurora is always looking for ways to merge with another company or a way to try to recover their stock price. That's like that's what they're doing. So there's always this talks in the background and I'm assuming that Canopy talked to Afria and it, because Afria is such a well-run business that maybe they're like, "Okay, you know what? If we can't beat them, you know, join them because if Africa is gone, Canopy loses competition. Essentially, they they're gonna steal more mar uh, Canadian market share, and they would get rid of a competition. And uh, that's the reason why they want to acquire Africa. Africa has stolen a lot of market share in the Canadian market, and Canopy just basically wants to get rid of competition, and that's the reason why I think. Uh, Canopy basically wants to acquire Afria, in my opinion. So we'll see what happens. But you know, this is uh, this is only positive for Afria stock. If if a, a giant like Canopy wants your company, it's only positive for the stock price, in my opinion. So, anyways, thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed this. Uh, you know, I hope this is at least eight minutes long. Oh, I only got ten more seconds to to go, and then the video's done. But thanks for watching, guys. I hope you give me a thumbs up, subscribe for future updates, and have a great day. Bye.